Cheers. Stuckey expecting a pick. Lillard now, Aldridge comes to set it. Six seconds, Damian turns the corner. Lillard dancing his way against Stuckey. Turns, fades away, far side, got it! Point one remaining! That's not enough time for anything! Oh, Williams is out there as well. Here comes G again, mano a mano. Can he shut him down like he did last year? Lillard fires! Oh, are you kidding me at the horn? He wins the series. It's Lillard, he got the shot off! What's good, everybody? Your boy is back. Y'all miss me, right? No? Alright, for sure. Anyways, today we got the Adidas Dame 3, Damian Lillard's third signature shoe. And here I got the CNY's, the Chinatown New York colorway. Just kidding, these are the Chinese New Year edition. I scooped these up when I was in Asia, and no, I know what y'all thinking. These shoes ain't fake. Just because I caught them in China doesn't mean they fake. The CNY editions dropped earlier in Asia, and I saw them, and I was like, yo, this colorway of the Dame 3 is popping. You know, so I had to get them, bring it back to the States. And here, I got the performance review for y'all. There's some pretty dope details detailing on these. It got the Year of the Rooster theme graphics along the midsole. It got the Chinese New Year logo in the back heel. Inside you have the wearing the letter O insole. And you got the Dame logo and Dame signature on the tongue. Alright, enough with the details. Let's get into the specifics. As always, we are going to start off with the traction. For traction, it has a rubber outsole with blade tread patterns showcasing Lilith's childhood playing courts. Traction, once again, did not disappoint. The traction on the Dame 3s are just as good, if not better, than the Lilith 2s. It has multi-directional lines that basically help you stop and go any way you want. Minimal wiping is needed if you're playing on dusty courts, but other than that, the traction on the Dame 3 is money. For materials, the Dame 3 has a seamless feud mesh upper with areas that stretches to give you a custom fit. And it has a really soft, comfortable textile lining. The materials on these are a bit stiffer compared to last year's model, although these are a bit more breathable. And to be honest with you, I don't really like the fused mesh combo. I actually like the materials on the Lillard 2s more because it's actually more soft compared to the Dame 3s. But don't get me wrong, the materials on the Dame 3 is still pretty solid. Moving on to the support and lockdown. It has a booty construction with a wide open entry for a snug and secure fit. 
The supported lockdown has been upgraded in the Dane 3s compared to last year's model. With the midfoot overlay on both sides of the shoe, it provides multiple lacing options that give you a personalized fit to your liking, which also gives you a lot more support laterally compared to last year's model. But the lacing system on these is pretty tricky. I had a hard time figuring out which holes to put the laces through in order for it to work best for me. But from my own personal opinion, I did not really like the comfortability of the two flaps. It, yes, it did help support my foot better, but it didn't feel good in terms of like comfort wise. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. You guys have just have to try it on. Maybe it's the way I laced it up. And with the super wide open entry of the shoe, I did have some heel slippage. I had to choke the laces pretty tight on the top. That was an issue in last year's model and the little twos too. But then with the Dame 3 with the flap supporting you more, you didn't have to choke it as much. But on the top, I still have to choke it a little bit to prevent my foot from moving up and down. As for cushioning, Adidas brought back the bouncy, bouncy, bounce cushioning setup for the Dame 3. Shit, I can't complain that they brought back the bounce setup for these. I honestly think that this setup is better than some of the boost setups. You just get that bouncy, springy feeling along with still having a lot of court feel, unlike boost. And it just feels too close to home, just like Nike Zoom Air, which I really, really love. As for comfort and size fit, the Dame 3 is similar to the Lillard 2s. It runs big at the length. Width-wise is okay. To me, I personally, again, have to go half size down from a 10 and a half to a 10, which is a really good snug fit. In terms of comfort, the shoe is a bit more stiff and rigid, but on the bright side, it does not require any break in time to begin with. As for pricing, the Dame 3 retails for $115, a $10 increase from last year's model. I personally don't see much of an increase in terms of performance, but hey, this is still one of the better hoop shoes in terms of the price compared to other models. And for my overall rating for the Adidas Dame 3, I'm gonna give these an 8.5 out of 10. Overall, it's a pretty solid hoop shoe. You can't go wrong with these, especially for the sticker price that it goes for. With the Dame 3, you got great traction, great cushioning, good support and lockdown, and solid materials. Although I wasn't really digging the comfortability of the two side panels. They're a bit hard and it didn't feel that good wrapped around my foot. Then again, it is still support. For a low price, the Adidas Dame 3 is a low cut, lightweight, awesome cushioning shoe that gets the job done. Thank you guys for watching that sneaker review on the Adidas Dame 3. I am back in the States now. Shout out to Kevin and I and my sister Emily Chan for holding it down when I was away. We are gonna be pumping out more basketball content for y'all, so stay tuned. Make sure to watch this video over here, watch this video over here. Don't forget to subscribe up there. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.